Sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between the Pitbull Andre Arlovsky and the Reed, Alistair Overeem. World title challenger, perennial heavyweight contender type, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. His crowning achievement, really, that K1 World Grand Prix Championship in kickboxing, still in search of that elusive UFC title. No one expected him to win that kickboxing right. world championship, but he went out there and he beat some of the biggest names in kickboxing history. But once he was back in MMA, he has been a true and absolute savage from becoming the dream world champion, becoming the Strike Force heavyweight champion. He's done about everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts. Of course, he made his UFC debut famously against Brock Lesnar. A lot of the recent wins for the Ream have come by knockout or TKO. He'll be chasing another highlight here tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Oh, big knee there. Knee to the body. He's a big knee. Oh, that's a good strike there by the Ream. Single collar tie there. 
And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, that right hand is on point. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a come behind it. And now he's got that tight punch. Boy, Ty Plump. He got the turnover in that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Overeem. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Plans the right hand. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful kick now. Big head kick. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh! just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre the Pitbull. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is up. Are you ready? You ready? So All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? I'm trying to kick the leg out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, big head kick there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Both fighters get up now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. So Arlovsky shot there is blocked. We march on three minutes to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, side control now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking armbar. Why 
why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. And he's out. Back to the feet now. Big kick. So just over 20 total strikes that have landed now for Andre Arlovsky. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent he's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to... Nice take that land. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in a single collar toss here. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Well, can't wait to see how this plays out. Round two, Andre Arlovsky. 